stuff coming here. I get all my stiller stuff here. I get my keys made and my shoes fixed here. Very nice people that work here, Rex and Paul. Very nice. Um, <laughs> whatever you need, they can help you with. Whether it's getting your shoes shined or getting your keys fixed. It's always the place to be here at Ulrich Shoe Repair. Hey, well, see what I did? I got my taps put on. I do this about every two to three weeks. It helps preserve the cost of actually buying a heel. So if you keep the taps on, you won't have to buy a heel later. Is that a heel? <laughs> He's good. Uh, this guy needs a half an inch on his heel. So we dump this off, put the half inch in, then when I'm done with this, it's going to look brand new. The history of our shoe repair goes all the way back to Italy and there was a town called Monto Santa Lucia, which means Mont St. Lucie. My wife's great-grandfather was a master over there that taught shoe repair. Everybody had to learn a trade in Italy, bricklaying, tailoring, shoe repair was one of them. So my wife's great-grandfather was the master and her grandfather came to learn how to fix shoes through her great-grandfather. And her grandmother was the master's daughter. So when her grandfather started learning how to fix shoes, he met my wife's grandmother, and then them two got together. And from there they moved into America to open up a shoe repair shop. And they had my um, father-in-law, my wife's father, he, when he grew up, he learned to fix shoes also. So my, my wife's grandfather opened up his first shoe repair in Brentwood, up on uh, Bronzeville Road. And when my father-in-law got old enough to open up a shoe repair, he went down to Casty Village. It's in Whitehall. I've been working here since 1971. I fix shoes, I fix zipper, pulse, right? zipper, uh, anything they need. He's dealing with zippers, Rex is the one to come to. Matter of fact, I've actually brought shoes down here of my wife's friends to have them repair the shoes. And when I take them back to them, they're like, they're like, wow, he could do this? I say, yeah, so in the future, I expect Rex to get a lot of business from my wife's friends, a lot of the females, because I think a lot of females, what they do is, they discard their boots, they discard the shoes, because they do not think that they can be fixed, and they actually can be fixed, because I do it with my own shoes. Actually coming in here helps me save money, because I can preserve my shoes by getting taps, new heels. Ulrich had two or three shoe repairs in downtown Pittsburgh and they bought the name off of them and they opened up one on Liberty Avenue across the street from my shop. It's, right now it's a Jimmy John's, it's, it was 508 Liberty Avenue. So from there, my uh, father-in-law and his uncle opened up a shop around the corner when they first built this building I'm in now. It was like a big garage. Then they opened up on 6th Street. It's 206 6th Street across the street from Heinz Hall. I am getting new heels put on to my shoes and they're called Super Taps. And he gets them from Florida and I know this because I ask him 50 questions every time I come in here. So he's nice enough to redo my heels while I wait. In 1981, 
I, I got married and then I came down to learn how to fix shoes because I was welding, I was working in a toy warehouse and I kept getting laid off. And every time I came down to 6th Street, there was six shoemakers in the back, four shoe shine guys in the front and two kinder girls. It was every time I came down there to visit, it was like a factory. So I told my wife, I might as well come down here and learn. Every, it looks like it's busy and they're always working. So I could come down and learn how to do this. I've been working here, oh, since 1992. It's a good place to work. I like coming down here every day if I could. I shine the shoes, you know, put the polish on, brush them off. <clears throat> yeah, just brush that up, then you put your rag on it and <clears throat> do the back. And <clears throat> you finish, if you got, so dressing, you put some so dressing on it. The most important thing in, in uh, uh, getting my, my uh, shoe shine is convenience and coming to a place where uh, you've got uh, um, uh, friendly experience and we've got good uh, people here who uh, you know are friendly but do a good job and get me together and as you know I probably need all the help I can get you know, uh, in corporate America, you gotta, your shoes need to look shiny, you know, when you go out representing, and since I go out quite a bit in my role, uh, so important. And so uh, often uh, in between meetings or going to the other side of town, I'll stop in to uh, make sure my shoes look proper and, and hopefully that'll get me together. We've been doing all the all the plays that come to town. Anytime there's a play, the Benedum at Heinz Hall, the Public Theater, they all know to bring their shoes. The opera, I do all the opera shoes too. They all we're on, an, we're very well known for doing all the, the uh, plays and we're doing movies. What happens is when the, all the plays come to town, they all need dance rubber and braces and ever, and taps on all their shoes. So when they when these when these um, the costume uh, people go around to other cities, they can't find that service like, like they can here with us. So a lot of, a lot of times the, play, the costume departments know to bring all their shoes to Pittsburgh. And, we do, and we'll do the service in one day. Okay, that's when we did the Phantom of the Opera. That was our last North American tour ever. And uh, the only one that's allowed to sign the, post, the uh, mask was the guy that played the Phantom. It's, it's a great business for the shows, but it's a lost art. Nobody even knows how to do it but us. It's been pretty good. And then now the movies, we're known all over the city. Every costume girl in the city knows that. I know every costume girl because we'll do movies. Uh, we do Tom Cruise, uh, Crow with Russell Crowe's. I got a whole list of uh, people's shoes that we're doing. I mean, that we've done, we've done Bruce Willis. Any movie that comes to Pittsburgh, we work on their shoes. Ann Hathaway, we did about four pair of her boots. She was here last year. It's just, everybody knows us for doing all the plays and all the movies. Now I'm the only guy left in town that does keys, you know. I do about 50 keys a day, which I never thought I'd have to do. Once you line them up, that's it. This machine's about 30 years old. I've changed every part on this machine twice already. <laughs> In 1950, there was 850,000 shoemakers in America, and today there's 4,000. So you went from 850,000 to 4,000 since 1950, and that'll just show you why. And most of the guys are over 70, so in another 10 years, I might be the only shoemaker left in the country. Me and uh, me and my pal back here, my uh, partner.